Nico. All right, hello, YouTubers. So today we have celebrity guests <laughs> for the mailbag. Um, I mentioned this before we started the archive, but these are Baba Ganoush's adopters who are Knit and Kitten and Jimbo on the Discord chat. And they are here today to adopt Stan. Um, but they were going to sit through mailbag first, and then I think we might even do lunch. So it's going to be sort of a drawn-out adoption. Uh, all right. Let me, as usual, check the camera angles. Let's see what we got going on. We're also performing a service, you know. Yeah. We are. We are uh, helping to socialize these things. Yes. Too. Yeah, it is. It's good for them to be exposed to other people. They've already went up and met um, Stan, and he was. Uh, extremely freaked out <laughs> to have <laughs> some strange people around, which I, I almost didn't expect it because he's been so good at coming around for me. But, you know, you change something up and then it's like a whole new deal for him. So he's going to have to probably spend some time getting used to them at home. Uh, let's see. I'm going to turn off the cage camera and put on the ceiling camera so that's not just pointed at your back over there. <laughs> I got it. There we go. And uh, before I forget, I will play the jingle for everybody. Here we go. Kitten Academy, where you want to be when you are a cat. On a Saturday, they can contemplate time for the mailbag. Okay. There we go. Um, and let's see, I was just looking at the annex too. I, I won't be able to keep her on the camera 100% of the time, but I should see what I can do. Ink made the first contact. Ink just touched oh. her finger with her nose and ran away. Good. Well, these guys are pretty fearless as far as kittens go, so they'll probably be all over you at some point. All right, so today we have two letters, and they both appear to be from our regular correspondent, Lucia. Uh, let's get these opened up here and take a look at what we got. Hi, Inko. Ink, why don't you go see some new people? Why don't you go see some new people? There's new people here you don't even know. Look at that. Yeah, I know. It's like, oh. <laughs> All right. Iris, as always. Oh, this is so cute. These are little uh, felted animal heads on safety pins. And inside it says, Much love and strength and coffee, Lucia and her kids. Happy wishes to you on the arrival of your special little ones. Bet she broke records. <laughs> so, so you're a little early, Lucia, but we appreciate that. Um, we expect, uh, I guess that's a, a good opportunity for me to sort of talk to everybody about it. Um, we do expect for um, Verse to deliver probably, well, her, her actual delivery date, as far as we know, is set on Tuesday, but we expect her to deliver before then. So I would guess maybe today, maybe tomorrow, really it could be any time at this point. We're all uh, on constant watch, so we will, I guess, just see how that goes. Oh, and this one says specifically, open when your mama pops. <laughs> so, so I guess we'll, we'll hang on to this one and see what happens. Thank you, Lucia. I appreciate that. It's also, it's addressed to Kitty Daddy at uh, our mailing address, Kitty Daddy. So that's cute. Thank you, Lucia. All right, we'll just set that aside the way it is. Um, I'm going to double check the floor camera here. Okay, good. We got it. We see these kids over here playing, not quite. Let's turn it just a little so that we can. Probably better. Okay, well, uh, we don't have as many boxes as it looks like numerically. It's just they're huge. There's a, there's a lot of very large boxes here today. So, it's a, uh, hi. Hello, Parchment. What are you doing up here? Parchy, parchy. Parchy, what is that? What does it mean? <laughs> she does that to me too. 
Barge you. Okay. to read. Dear DJ and Mr. A, hello Mr. A. Included in the package are maple cream cookies and chocolates from Canada where we had super mini vacation. Please share a box with Jenny and Jimmy T who were so awesome with the starstruck borderline stalker Moz Bab. We're sorry Mr. A, we know you're on a diet and so is Moz Bab, so we really do understand that sending you sweets when DJ the way is borderline malicious. <laughs> Please hide them somewhere forgettable until DJ comes back if possible. <laughs> this, is, this is asking me to hide the candy myself so that I don't find it needed. Like this. Wow. Yeah, it's a tall order. Um, Extra willpower. Yeah, exactly. We also included some colorful toys for the Fables, Tales, and Versus Already Born Kittens. The Go Cat Mice refills are for the faculty who enjoy the wired wands. Please distribute the etc. how you wish. The gift is a thank you for everything. Seriously, thank you. Thank you for existing. Thank you for sharing both of your lives. Thank you for making people feel like they're not alone when they allow cats on kitchen counters. Both of you have courage to share your life, and it's definitely making an impact for everyone. Also, everyone at the KA Con were so kind to Mozbab was very surprised. He wants to thank everyone for restoring his faith in humanity or felinity. Uh, Mozbab 1 and 2... Servants of Babby and Mozzie. P.S. Can you please give a shout out to Discord name Miko the Cat, Scribbly Panda, and Will2754. Thank you. Well, I think I just did. That definitely counts. So, thank you so much for sending that. I see there's a second note in here for us that says, do not read, so I will just set that aside for now. It was really great meeting you guys at KACON, by the way. Uh, I, it was it was so fun for everybody, and it just, it was a good time. It was really a good time. Um, all right, so here we have the Smarty Cat Electronic Motion Hot Pursuit Toy, which is sort of the undercover mouse deal. It's, a, it's like, a, like a blanket that has an electronic mouse under it that runs around, and the cats go crazy for it. That's been one of the favorites of the faculty in the past. We have the Go Cat replacement mice, which is, uh, that's, uh, that's, you were just saying, one of Baba's favorite things in the world. Now, has he had to go through replacements yet? Oh, one. Mm -hmm. One. Okay, cool. Very cool. We've got three of those. We have a bag of uh, little jingle balls with feathers on them. We'll set one of those out right now because that looks really fun. You've set a whole bag of those. Looks like a dozen. Very cool. And then we have the candy, which is maple cream cookies with maple cream filling from Toronto. And milk chocolate with maple and rum. Oh my goodness. Wow. So um, I will try to hide these so that I don't eat them all. My diet has really gone off the rails in the last week uh, because... First off, uh, I was talking to somebody about the Buffalo Oreos that J. Lou has sent us in the past. They are chocolate-covered Oreos, and they're delicious. I was talking about them online, and I was like, okay, i got to have some. If I just get some Buffalo Oreos that I haven't ruined my diet, I can have just some Buffalo Oreos, and that's okay. So I went online, and I ordered some, but I couldn't stop there. I'm like, well, if you're going to order something... You might as well make it worth the delivery fee, so I added on some sponge candy, and then, I, because I was talking about this on the chat, when those arrived, it turns out Lisa also sent Buffalo Oreos, so now I've got, like, extra, extra Buffalo Oreos, and that was a little crazy, um, but then it gets worse, uh, because Baba's adopter showed up today with all kinds of bread and stuff for me. Uh, you so, <laughs> so it just like putting your credit card in. Yeah. Now, in my defense, I, I did. I sort of started working out again about a week ago, so I feel really, really good about that. And uh, I think it's a good excuse to just eat as much as I want, right? Because that's how it works, for sure. Exactly. Yeah. I went for a walk. Yeah. That means I can have ten candy bars. Exactly. <laughs> These things even out. I mean, sure, the step meter says that I burned 200 calories, but you know. <laughs> I can, that means I can eat 500. 
That's how it works. Oh, no. Hoggin' Barry. Hoggin' Barry, what's that all about? Oh, my goodness. Wow, okay, it looks like there's some notes in here. Aww. So cute. It says, just a little sleeping spot that will probably get ignored for a random empty box or paper bag. bag. Ha ha ha. Doesn't matter. Still want stanza of prose and meter to have a comfy crash pad. Hugs from Shell. Shell, thank you so much for sending these. And it looks like, hang on, we got all kinds of packing material here. It looks like you've sent two very nice cat beds. Um, I'm guessing there's probably a third one of these in one of the other boxes because they don't always ship these things together. These are beautiful. I love this red corduroy. And uh, I guess one of these is going to end up going home with you guys. <laughs> Thank you guys. Thank you. Let's see here. Uh, all right, I'm going to just slide this out of the way for the moment. This is this is always the tricky part of mailbag is figuring out what to do with all the open boxes while I'm going through them. Um, I also want to see if I can guess which one of these might have a third, if there is a third. Let's, let's see. This is not actually an Amazon box, but this one is. Well, uh, we'll, just, we'll just keep going. Let's see what happens. This says fragile all over it. Somebody's written fragile on every side of it and an arrow to show which side goes up and therefore it is the only box that has been damaged in shipping. <laughs> <laughs> the one that says fragile all over it. You said it wrong. Oh, fragile. Yes, <laughs> it must be Italian. Um, this, uh, it doesn't look like it was very damaged though. I think it's probably fine. It is sort of ironic that the one that says fragile everywhere is the one that's got a big dent in the corner. All right, wow, lots of extra packing material here. Oh, wow, this is this is very well packed. Okay, I see we've got some kind of wrapped up artwork. And that is it. So you took, you took all the care with this. That's great. I'm going to make sure there's not another note or something. Oh, here, there's another box up here. Good. Well, we can use your box then to get rid of all the rest of the packing material. That's very convenient. Thank you for that. Okay. <laughs> it's just everywhere right now. Okay. I don't know which of these to start with. These are both really exciting. Um, this says, okay to read on air, and the other one says, okay to read on TV. I always wanted to be on TV. So... I'll start with this one. This is very exciting. It's been a while since we got any artwork from fans, and that's uh, we, I love getting the artworks. All right, the card says, thank you very much. It says, it was such a thoughtful gesture. Uh, hi, dear Mr. A and DJ. Hi, I'm Emily's older sister. Oh, well, I guess I opened them in the wrong order, probably. Otherwise, so I don't know who Emily is yet, uh, but that's okay. It says, hi, I'm Emily's older sister, and I just wanted to say thank you so much for being the people you are in caring for these kittens and mom cats. Me and my family love watching the kittens grow day by day, and we can't wait for Versus Kittens. Your stream has also cheered me up personally when I've had a bad day. I hope the kittens enjoy the gifts. Sincerely, Oksana. Oksana, thank you so much. Um, let's see what you've said here. I can. Oh, look at this. Okay, you've wrapped these up in tissue paper. Kitties love tissue paper, too. This is good. good. The tissue paper, you could have just sent that. Wow. You guys want that box, too, don't you? Oh, look at this. we got a catnip bomb. It says cosmic catnip, and it's a little uh, rubber bomb with a string fuse that can burn down. <laughs> and, uh... And some catnip there to fill it with. That's that's really cool, actually. I haven't seen that one before, and I really like that. And you sent something else, too. Oh, Cat Fernet and Muscat wine. Very cute little catnip wine bottle. All right, we'll let you guys play with that tissue paper in the meantime. 
this is awesome. Thank you so much for sending this. That's that's fantastic. I especially like that bomb toy. That's very cool. I haven't seen that one before, and that looks like a lot of fun. So here we have what is apparently a framed art. I can tell just from the feel of it. And it's wrapped in My Little Pony wrapping paper, which is very cool. Oh, okay. Let's see. oh, what a fancy card. That's very shiny. It says, thank you for everything. Hi, Mr. A and DJ. I love watching all the cats, kittens, baby kittens, and all the nice things that you do. I made a drawing of Smokey for you in the box. I hope you enjoy it from Emily. Plus, Emily did a drawing here of a cat. This is beautiful. This is a blue, um, it looks like pencil, uh, colored pencil cat with a bow tie. That's, that's an amazing piece of art just right there on the card. That's very cool. Oh, wow. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah that's, that's super impressive. All right, let's see. You said Smokey. Let's see what we got here. This is exciting. Oh my god. Are you kidding me? This is beautiful. Wow. Wow, I'm so glad you sent this to us framed too. This is awesome. You are a, a very, very talented artist. This is fantastic. Uh, I love the way that you've done the, like every little individual hair and it's all, it just, it looks like you could almost pet her. And then her eyes are just perfect. They're very, they're almost like starry. Beautiful. That is fantastic. I hope everybody can see that. That is just gorgeous. How did you do that? And you've even got like the texture on her nose and the whiskers, just everything. It's so detailed. Oh, wow. Is that fantastic? Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. Wow. Wow, Emily, that is that is really really cool. Thank you so much. I can't believe this. I am I am really excited about this one. Um, I was I was talking about this a couple weeks ago on the chat um, or on the mailbag actually. I think I don't I can't remember if it was last week or the week before. Um, when people do send us art, we usually have to get it framed ourselves. So it's really really sweet of you to send it already framed for us. That's very thoughtful of you, and it's a beautiful frame, too. Um, now, what I was saying the other week, though, is that we have been talking so much about moving that I've got all the artwork stacked up in a closet waiting for us to move so I can just put it up once when we eventually go somewhere. So I may not hang this up right away. I may put it someplace safe, and then when we move, this is, this is definitely going to take a prominent position on one of our walls at the new place. This is gorgeous. Thank you so much. What a special oh. thing. There's somebody in there? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay, good. They were doing that last week, too, when I had yeah. a box like this, but the other box was shorter, so I think it was probably easier for them to get in and out of. Now we know why you count. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, let's see. I guess I'll just set this over here for the moment. I just, I've got to be really careful with that. I definitely do not want any harm to come to it. How oh, cool. Wow. Thank you both. Okay, here we have something that is a repurposed Amazon box. It's very heavy, too. I don't know what could possibly be in here. <laughs> I got all three of you on that. That's so cute. Oh, my. Happy Mailbag Day from Pat. From Pat M. M. Excuse me, Pat M. M. on the chat. All right, it says... This is cute. First off, there's a blanket in here, and the blanket says, I needed more packing material and figured you will be going through a lot of blanket changes with a verse. Yeah. Well, that's true. We, we probably are going to need an awful lot of blankets and blanket stuff, and this is really cute polar fleece with unicorns on it. That's a pretty cool blanket, actually. Unicorns and donuts and cupcakes and ice cream. That's interesting. Oh, look, there's a donut here. And I saw an ice cream and a cupcake and, hmm, all right, well, those are all good things. All right, now there's a 
whole bunch of stuff packed in here. I don't see a note, but everything's got its own little note on it. So first off, we have one of these uh, animal cat beds that is, uh, this one is a elephant, and the note on it says, a giraffe, a pink goat, a purple fish, why not an elephant? Well, why not indeed? So uh, it's got a little elephant tail on the back, and it's got the big floppy elephant ears, and the elephant trunk that hangs right down in front. I'll probably make a cute cat toy. That's a fun one, Pat. Thank you so much. We uh, we really are like developing a complete collection of these now. Not only do we have that, we get. Did you say we got the reindeer? Because we do. We have also got the reindeer one. So we've got now a whole a whole thing going on there. <laughs> All right, you sent us a little book, too. The book says, uh, okay, the book is Cat Confessions, a Kitty Come Clean Tell-All Book. And uh, then there's a page that's marked, and the marked page says, is this how Logan started? <laughs> and the confession here, there's a cat, a picture of a cat licking a steak, and the, the confession says, sometimes I help mom tenderize the steak. And then I guess they're, they each are a specific cat. This is Cinnamon in Carmel, California. How cute. These, this, this is actually very cute. So this is just cute cat photography with little uh, confessions. <laughs> this is three little kittens. It says, we lick the salt off the potato chips when mommy has company. <laughs> That's cute. That's a cute book, Pat. Thank you so much. Oh, you, you did pack a lot of stuff in here. Oh, hey, look, this is just what I need. Something to help out with your workout routine. Well, I was just talking about that. It says here this is the original exercise block, a fitness machine you'll actually use. And uh, it is a block of wood. It says exercise block, instructions. And this is the instructions are printed right on the block itself. Here, let me take this out. We can have a look at it together. Oh, maybe if I can. It's uh, it's very interestingly packed. Didn't expect it to be such so much trouble to get it out of the box. There we go. Okay, here we go. It is a block. It says exercise block. Step one, place block on floor. Step two, walk around it twice. Three, sit down and relax. Congratulations, you have just walked around the block twice. <laughs> that is definitely exactly the workout that I can manage. And then I can have some Zingerman's bread. <laughs> I, this, this all works together. Pat, thank you so much. Okay, wow. Here we have a, a bag of, well, not a bag of, several bags of skinny mice. Um, flat mice. You may know the flat mice from the stream. We usually have some of these around for the kittens. They're awesome cat toys, and you have sent us an even dozen of the flat mice, which are fantastic. Thank you so much. Never have too many. Oh, well, not an even dozen, because here's uh, six more, which makes 18 if I'm doing the math right. Stay in school, kids. Uh, here is a little Christmas gift. It's all decked out like Christmas. It says, since it's never too early for Christmas decorating at Kitten Academy Land, here are a few things for the tree. Aww. This is so cute. It's a Christmas tree ornament with pictures of all the faculty on it. And then there's another. Pat, you did too much. This is too many things. There is another little tiny box here. Oh, <laughs> with a rainbow poop ornament. That's sparkly, too. That's very cool. I see that it has uh, a logo on the front of the box that is a unicorn. And the unicorn has a funny little arrow pointing from behind. I think that that is supposed to symbolize the fact that this is uh, unicorn poop, which would explain why it is so rainbow and sparkly. Because we all know that unicorns have rainbow sparkly poops. Pat, thank you so much. Well known. It's a well known fact. It's basic biology. Exactly. We've all learned this in school. Here we have, oh, now this is very interesting. Pat, uh, we have the Jackson Galaxy branded cat tunnel. But the interesting thing about the Jackson Galaxy branded cat tunnel, Jackson Galaxy 
apparently has learned a thing or two from watching Kitten Academy, as we know he does. Um, and his cat tunnel is made of a mesh, just like the laundry baskets that we use. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah. 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 Very interesting. All right. Wow. Yeah. Something to allow DJ to take a cat with her. Oh, it's a little tiny cat. It says, grow your own pussy cat, your perfect companion. Uh, no smell or litter trays, no hair, balls, or fleas, no more clogged furniture, never gets into fights. And it's, uh, it's one of those little, uh, we had these when I was a kid, it's one of those little things that you put it in a, like a glass of water and it, it swells up and gets real big. Um, although when we were kids, they always just came in one color. This is the guy, like, you know, he's got like the brown and the red and the black, and he's got a little face and stuff. This is way more detailed than the ones that we had when I was a kid. So that's fun. And then finally, oh, this is why it was so heavy. We have a tunnel and hammock for the annex for future small tinies, or is it tiny smalls, can practice before moving into the big room. So that's what the tunnel is, the Jackson Galaxy Tunnel. And then this is, let me put it the way that you can see. This is a little tiny cat um, tree, I guess. It's more of a, like cat furniture. And it's got a hammock that hangs underneath it so they can practice in a little hammock. How cool. It's called uh, the Pet Pals Group Jungle, according to this, it says. I don't know how they get jungle out of something like that, but, you know, I'm not going to argue with it. Jungle Jim? Yeah, maybe, but it just says jungle, and and it does not look jungly at all to me. It looks sort of like modern furniture, but, but hey, what do I know? That's all right. It's beautiful, and it will look great in the annex, Pat. That would be very thoughtful of you. Thank you so much for all of it, Pat. That's, you send us way too much stuff, uh, but it's all wonderful and thoughtful. I love the Christmas tree ornament with the faculty pictures on it. Uh, I will definitely get all of the exercise from that exercise block. And uh, these skinny mice are something that I just, I love including these in endowment bags. They're great. I don't think there's one of these in here yet. I'm just going to toss one out right now for these guys. You want a skinny mice? Yeah. <clears throat> Oasis and Muffles and Wampin says, a Jackson Galaxy cat tunnel should have many piercings. It should. <laughs> <laughs> That's why it's all piercings. That's well funny. done. <laughs> Yeah, that's well done. I like that you said a Muffles and Waffen. Well, that's, that's their... Oh, did they change the Muffles name. and Waffen? Oh, I muffles didn't... Muffles and Waffen, yeah. I didn't see that. Or maybe my brain just automatically corrected it. Yeah, yeah. probably. Yeah. Pat, that's awesome. Oh, my goodness. Tissue. She's the best. Is this their... This isn't their first tissue, is it? Uh... No, I mean, they've, they've done mailbag tissues before. Yeah, yeah. yeah but oh my they might, I don't know, they're a little small to get in and out of a tissue pit, but maybe yeah. it's time for us to try anyway. I gotta push this stuff around. Watch out there. I see him. Yep, I see him. Okay, got it. Okay. Wow, Pat, thank you again, Pat. That's, that's awesome stuff. Uh, I am surprised about that Jackson Galaxy Tunnel being the same idea as the laundry thing. I don't know how long he's had that. He's probably been doing it since before we were, but uh, but we did come up with it independently. So. Okay, yeah, so here we go. This looks like the third bed from Shell. Shell, thank you so much. Again, it says, just a little sleeping spot that will probably get ignored for a random empty box or paper bag. Ha, ha, ha. <laughs> Doesn't matter. Still want stands of pros and meter to have a comfy crash pad. Hugs from Shell. Shell, you have sent so much stuff for the adopters. It's really wonderful of you. And these look like very nice beds. I'm just going to toss this in with the other ones. And then we'll have this box to shuffle around. Let's see what I can do here. Let's pull this out so that people can at least watch you guys doing all this mess. Right there. Okay. What is it? What is it? Is it a flat mouse? Okay. All right. Let's 
see what we got here. That flat mouse is already a hit. I can't tell what this is, but there's a note. Oh, <laughs> this is cute. <laughs> Here's your boat, Mr. A. Love Tahini. Oh, <laughs> Tahini. Tahini got the card again? Yep, Tahini got the card again and used it to send me a boat. <laughs> this is very cute. Hang on a second here. Let me get this out right now. I've been waiting long enough. <laughs> this is cute. <laughs> Thank you so much, Tahini. It says uh, Beach Toys. Very cute. Thank you for the boat, Tahini. That's great. <laughs> That's very cute. <laughs> I don't know when I was last talking about how much I wanted a boat, but oh, look at that. It's, it's on the little blue water there and everything. It's like a little, got the whole thing set up. I guess, you know, in the end, DJ was right to not let me get a boat because there's a very good chance wherever we move, it would just be useless. So, so it all worked out in the end. I'm just going to try to shuffle this around a little bit. I don't want to get in the way of your shot either. <laughs> God, there's no, it's good. This, uh, this is a good place to get some photos of these kids being nutty. Oh! So this is very cute, first off. It's in the wrapping paper with the, the little paws. And it says this end up, and it also says Fragile on it. Then uh, it also says it's from J. Lou. So um, hopefully does not include even more Buffalo Oreos as I was just talking about. That would be a problematic. Because I will eat them. There's a note, and it says, the note, just so you don't miss it. Aw, oh, this is beautiful. It's a little cat resting on an artist's desk. Hi, Chris and DJ. I hope things are well at this very exciting time at the Academy. Ten kittens, wow. I have a feeling you will feel like you are living the Star Trek Tribble episode very soon. <laughs> That's an excellent comparison. Uh, feel free to send an SOS via the Kazoo Network anytime. Song and Fiddle send spoogles of encouragement. They are both expert ninja spooglers. Is that an AP class at KA? I fell asleep on the sofa last night and I woke up to find Fiddle draped across me like a Miss America sash. <laughs> Miss KA, I guess and Song rolled into a ball at my feet. Fiddle seems to have an affinity for all the tabbies of Fable's tales. He is much more attentive than usual when we are watching the stream. I found some great artwork by Zazzle artists and I personalized some for the adopters of Fable and crew. I tried to represent how I see each of their personalities. We might not know why you are the way you are, but we love it. Thank you for all that you do for the kittens and your fans. Much love, J. Lou, Matt, Song, Fiddle, and Molly. Well, thank you so much. Uh, let's see here. So this is some extra artwork, and it is so cute. So, let's see. I'm going to have to take these all out to show them. This says Parchment Burrito, and it's a little parchy and a, and a burrito. That's actually that's very cute. Uh, this one, hang on here, this is so cool, this might be the first time that we've had artwork sent like this for the adopters, I, I really like that. Oh, this is ink, it says ink ready for adventure and it's a cat with a bandana and a motorcycle helmet on, that does remind me of ink, I think you've really got the feel for these kittens. This 
this one, oh, it says quill, and it's got a little cat with an inkwell. That's adorable, and it's all pink on the background, too, because quill's very girly. I like that. And then, let's see, what's our last one? F is for fable with a beautiful floral pattern. These are gorgeous. Jay Lou, thank you so much, and thank you for not sending Buffaloreos. That was a very good decision <laughs> to, to not do that. Um, thank you. This is really cool. This is, like I said, I think it's the first time that we've gotten like framed art for the adopters. Uh, although once or twice, DJ and I have been picked up. Um, I remember we did. Um, when Hal was adopted, we got that, that art of, of Hal with the sunglasses that was so cool. I still love that. There's a, we got two copies of it, one for Hal's adopter and one that I have framed in my office that I just love. I'm putting these back in here with the, the wrapping stuff so that I can eventually put them all back uh, in some bubble wrap before they go to the adopters. Jayla, those are very cool, and you totally, you've captured the essence of each of these little kitties here. I can see Ink wants that to, is ready for adventure right now. Let me, uh, let me write on here that this is endowments for them. Actually, it's uh, about 10:40, and uh, we're, we've only got a few little boxes left here. This one is so cute. It's got uh, stickers here. It's got these stickers on this side with all these cats on it, and then it says here, Kitten Academy. Hi to everyone at the Fox Lake Post Office. Now it says Kitten Academy with an arrow, and then it says where you want to be. When you are a cat. <laughs> How cool is that? It's the Kid Academy jingle uh, spelled out on the sides of the box. That, uh, that jingle, by the way, that you heard at uh, the, the start of the mailbag at 10 o'clock is uh, it's written for us by Sarah Donner, who is very talented and uh, is now doing her own uh, kitten stream, I think, most of the time. Club Smoosh, which is really good. Highly recommended. All right, here we have a note that says, okay to read on the live stream. That's good, we like that. There's no ambiguity. Oh, this is, this is cute. It's got these little stickers on the top that says cute cats, and they are very cute. Hello, Kitten Academy. I've been a devoted KA lurker since the textiles class, although I'm fairly new to Discord. And when I heard that Verse was going to have nine or ten kittens, I thought, they're going to need a lot more baby blankets. Because as Tiffy and her breakfast club taught us, poop happens, and it happens very frequently. So, here's a box of assorted blankets. But if everyone has the same idea and you're blanketed in blankets, please feel free to pass these on to On Angel's Wings. Thank you for adding so much joy, light, and love to the internet. Little cat poop on Discord. Um, <laughs> it says, make sure you think my PS is appropriate for the mailbag. I don't want people to feel left out. I don't think anybody's going to feel left out. Your PS says, PS... A big hi to all the wonderful KA fans I met at the LA meetup and to DJ too, of course. Ah, oh, I saw pictures of the LA meetup with DJ and uh, it, it looked like it was a lot of fun. I was so sad I didn't get to go. Um, little Cat Feet, thank you so much for sending this. So, um, I don't think this is all blankets though because here's something wrapped in a tissue paper that says love. 
And if it is a blanket, it is the hardest blanket I've ever felt. Oh, well, so it is. It's just it's in a it's in a box. It's uh, in swaddles we trust. It says. Oh, they're two beautiful little swaddling blankets. This one has little uh, owls on it. And this one has little cats on it. The cats all seem to be, well, I guess not all of them, but some of them are wearing clothes. They've got one with glasses. Very, very cute. Thank you so much for those. There's a lot more in this box, though, so we've got to see what, what this is all about. Let's find out here. Little cat feet. This is so sweet. And you wrap each of these things individually. That's that's adorable. Here we have four receiving blankets. Uh, one with elephants, and then one with little dots, one with stars, and one with sort of a uh, 80s nouveau uh, triangle pattern on it. Very cool. Oh, wow. This is, you said a lot. Okay. Oh, this one. This is, these are all so soft. This one has elephants. It's beautiful with this uh, nice little textured inside. So many little baby blankets, my goodness. Oh, <laughs> this one has uh, like a leopard print. But then the corner of the blanket is a cat with little ears that stick out and everything. That's super cute. These kids are still going nuts. Hey, let's give them a little extra. Some of that. And then there's one more that comes in its own little bag. That's super fancy. It's uh, Alessandro Cozy Life for Pet. And it looks like it is a animal print. Oh, it's paws. I see. It's got little paws. Oh, meow, Quill. So dramatic. That's beautiful, too. These are so soft. Baby blankets are so soft. How fancy that this one's got its own little carrying bag. And the bag has sort of a, I don't know, bizarre... I don't, I don't know how to describe that <laughs> art there. Oh, the fly oh, look at that. Yeah, the fly mouse is always a winner. I don't understand why you just, you take a mouse toy, you just pull the stuffing out, and all of a sudden it's a hundred times cooler. I don't know why that's the case, but it, it is the case. Those flat mice are always a big hit. Wow. Thank you so much. Little cat feet, these are great. And as you say, we can definitely use them. Like, Nine or ten kittens is going to be epic. I mean, obviously, we have never had that much. And uh, it's not a world record, but it's not far off from the world record, which, uh, depending on how you count, is either like only 14 or uh, maybe more like 19. So, still, uh, 10 is, is a lot. It's, it's our, definitely our record. Uh, our most was seven, and that was our very first litter that was born here, Hazel's. Um, after that, our next highest is six, uh, although we added Chai to make seven, but that doesn't count because you know, she wasn't part of the, the actual litter, right? You guys get some good ones? Oh, yeah, look at this one. Oh, did you take that with your phone or with the camera? No, oh, okay. so you just you can automatically load it on. Oh, that's yeah. very cool. Yeah. That's a beautiful shot. Yeah, yeah, yeah I like that. that's the whole K thing with the camera. Yeah, exactly. This says, hi, meter, stanza, and prose. Hope you enjoy this mouse. Love, Tahini. Aww. And then also, hi, meter, stanza, and prose. <laughs> Hope you enjoy these treats. Excuse me. Love, Tahini. And then there may be another note in here. Uh, is there? Did I miss one? Here we go. That's the last one says, Hi, meter, stanza, and prose. Hope you enjoy this banana. Love, Tahini. Aww. Tahini, thank you so much for taking care of meter, stanza, and prose. So, 
what we have are flat mice, one for each of them. That's three little flat mice. That's perfect. And then we have uh, Yao catnip bananas. Of course, there are three of those as well. And then we have a bag of churu to split up. Awesome, and uh, definitely a winner. I know Stan is a huge fan of the churu. In fact, we're counting on that to be the, the thing that helps us break through for him. <laughs> so we will see about that. Um, let's see, I'm going to put this in the same box. I'm just going to switch this over here to the Stan and Pros and Meter Endowment box. Because I've got to take this art out. Do that. Shuffle this stuff around a little bit. Okay. Emily's beautiful art of Smokey. All right, Tahini, thank you, Tahini. That's very thoughtful of you. Good on you for stealing mom and dad's credit card. I encourage all the kitties to do that. Okay. <laughs> I noticed. <laughs> All right, here we have a box that says liquid. All right, well, let's see. I don't know what kind of liquid people could be sending us, but I guess we will find out. Good morning, Mr. Mom, AKA Kitten Academy. With confirmed so many mouths to feed, I thought I would send along a nursing assistant and extra supplies. With so many in the litter, they may or may not enjoy a bottle to keep warm. Who can forget the fe feather wicker balls? Who can forget the feather wick wicker balls? Wow, that's uh, surprisingly difficult to say. <laughs> Hope Fable, Parchment Ink, and Quill all enjoy. Please include some that were previously sent in the endowments for meter pros and stands. Let me know when you need more from the kitten. That's the underscore kitten on the Discord chat. The kitten, thank you so much. I did include some of uh, those already for meter pros and stanza, so, so thank you. All right. Here we have some pet ag nursing kits, little bottles with all the nipples and stuff. That's great. I see that you've also, oh, oh, this gets very interesting. Okay, hang on. This does get very interesting. Okay, let's let's get to it. Uh, first off, what is going on here? This is heavy. Aw, here we have more uh, generic Diet Cola with the Kitten Academy branding on it. Which you've sent before. That's awesome. Thank you so much for some more. That's you can never have too much of that. And uh, I will be going through quite a lot of it when those kittens eventually arrive. I assure you of that. All right. Um, we have a uh, box here with a bunch of extra nipples and bottle cleaners in it, which is also cool. Here's the thing that I think is amazing. This says, nursing assistant to keep the bottles in place and warm for as long as the kittens need the bottles warmed. These are all Velcroed shut for easy removal and fill. A hot water bottle is there to keep the kneading instinct in place for kittens normal well when nursing. Materials soft like a mom would feel as well. So here, let me move some of this stuff out of the way so you guys can really see this, because this is amazing. This is a little cloth bag that is closed, uh, as said, with Velcro. And inside the bag, we have a hot water bottle, so we can fill it up with some warm water and make it the right temperature for little kitties to feel like they've got a mom. And then on the outside, we have this little pouch that is also held on with Velcro and contains four little nursing bottles. How cool is that? So we can have four little kittens all nursing on this at once with the water bottle and everything. It's like an artificial mom. It's very cool. And it looks like you have included an extra one. Here we've got an extra bag. I can feel the hot water bottle in there. It says, water bottle, bag Velcro shut. This one is for warmth due to a large litter. I thought they may need some extra warmth. Okay, that's a great idea. And 
And there's something else here. It says, if you decide to start out with the syringe instead, I've included a mini towel to put them in so it feels a little like mom. How sweet of you. This is a great material, too. And I noticed you picked something that's sort of white. Uh, it's got that white color in it, just like their mom does. I see you've got an extra warm water bottle here. And, of course, the wicker feather balls that you mentioned. And a couple of extra bottles. And then finally, oh, we have a pro sport backpack, I guess, to carry all this nursing stuff around in, which is not a bad idea. Oh, this is so sweet. It's a pro sport backpack that's filled with snacks for me so that I can snack uh, while I'm, I'm taking care of the kitties. We've got Cheez Its and Chex Mix. I love the Chex Mix, that's good stuff. Chex Mix. Uh, we've got some uh, antibacterial, something to keep clean. We've got uh, roasted almonds and mixed nuts. We got the beef jerky. We got P3 portable protein pack. And then on top of all that, we have Parents' Choice uh, little wet wipes, too, which is great. We've already been using these on Mom because she's got some uh, issues getting all the way around to her backside these days. It is quite a reach. How sweet of you to do all this. That is so thoughtful. The kitten. That is just so sweet. A backpack full of sweet treats, too. That's... That's a very cool way to do it. I like that a lot. And we can definitely, like I said, we can use that for carting around all the stuff. So, uh, the kitten, you've sent us so much stuff lately, and it's all so wonderful and thoughtful. I'm excited to use it. I'm just going to call it an artificial mom. I'm excited to try that out with all the little bottles in it and see how it works out. I was talking to my actual mom, not artificial at all, <laughs> about doing this and, and how I was just, I'm really nervous about the fact that we're going to have nine kittens, uh, nine or ten, and, um, you know, she's only got the eight nipples, and I've got this thing that I've always done when we deliver kittens, which is I, I've always stayed there until they're all latched on in nursing before I leave after the delivery. And that is going to be actually impossible this time. And I'm going to, you know, I know, you know, it's, it's impossible. You just, you do what you can. You make sure they're all going to eat. Um, but it's, it's really going to make me feel like I can't leave the room <laughs> for a while. It's, it's going to be difficult. Um, and I like having all these options for, you know, other ways to sort of get them latched on in nursing. Although they do all have to take turns with their actual mom, too, because the, the actual mom milk has got stuff in it that's, you know, special and uh, helps them develop their immune systems and stuff. So that will be important to do. Uh, so I was saying, I was talking to my actual mom about this, and she was suggesting, you know, if I'm probably just going to be there anyway most of the time, crashed out. Um, you know how the little kittens are when they nurse. They nurse, and they'll just fall asleep while they're nursing and just stay there, latched on the nipple, asleep. She says I should just sort of stay there and set a timer and, you know, every 15 or 20 minutes check to see which ones have fallen asleep and take them off and switch on the other ones. Mm -hmm. Which, that might work out too. It might be even easier that way. Um, but we'll see. Like I said, this is, this is new to me having to help out in this particular way. So it's, it's all going to be a big experiment. And we'll find out. But, uh, but I really love the idea of this thing, the water bottles with the, the little bottles in there and stuff. That's, that's very cute. Very clever. The V kitty. Thank you so much for that. You've sent us a lot of stuff to, to help solve our issues. Oh, maybe that's not. Maybe you could name the artificial moms Reverse and Inverse. Reverse and Inverse. Oh, man. That is too <laughs> clever. I like Inverse wow. especially is good. Yeah. That is that is too clever. Oh, and a fake artificial mom should be Converse. Converse! Oh my goodness! <laughs> that was <one's> mine. <laughs> <laughs> those, those are all too clever. I like that a lot. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. Oh, well, I think I know what this is. I didn't... Wow. Somehow, I didn't anticipate it from the outside. There's not as much tape on this box as there should be, Lily Cat. Um, let's see though, you sent a note. Greetings, Kitten Academy. Enclosed are the blankets for Meter and Quill. 
I also sent some instant spiced chai latte tea for DJ. Maybe it would be used in her room away from home or in the break room at work. If not to her liking, you can always serve it to adopters when they come over. From Lily Cat and Zara the Beautiful and Zeta the Beta. Aw, thank you so much, Lily Cat. So, um, this is, uh, as always, you knit blankets for all of the kittens that get adopted. And again, uh, I certainly don't expect you to do that for Versus Kittens uh, once she delivers 10 all at once. That's, that's too much to ask for anybody. But here you sent one. This is for Quill. It says Quill right on the bag. And this is beautiful. Oh, I love this purple. And uh, you got sort of a sort of a mustard color in here too. It's, it's not quite brown. It's got a little bit of the yellow in there. And then this white and uh, gray and it all it comes together. It's beautiful. I love these colors actually. It's, it's just gorgeous for Quill. Uh, ink, ink likes it too apparently. <laughs> And, hang on, can I get this back in here? And we have another one here for meter, of course. Oh, this is cool. This has got sort of a, like a salmon color in it. Uh, and a sort of a orange there too. I think those are two slightly different shades, but they go together really well. And then we've got a couple different shades of this sort of brownish gray and this white. This is this is really cool. It's almost like uh, sparkles or something, like sprinkles. This is beautiful. It makes me think of Meter, too, because she's kind of got that orange. That's that's beautiful. Thank you so much, Lily Cat. I, I say this every time. I love having these soft blankets that you make to give away to the adopters. And I think they like it, too. Thank you so much. And then, a little bonus in here with the blankets that you always send, Trader Joe's Spicy Chai, Spicy Chai, Tea Latte Mix. Interesting that it says spicy. I see, spice blend is cinnamon, clove, cardamom, anise, and ginger. That sounds pretty legit, actually. I, mean, I should try some of this. Thank you so much. Right, I'm going to leave the chai out. I'm going to put your meter and uh, quill blankets back in here and label this to go to the endowment room so that I know where to find these later on. I was actually just putting together the endowment bags for uh, Stan and company, of course. And uh, I noticed that meter hadn't had one yet. And I was like, oh my gosh, did she send one for meter? And I'm just not finding it. I had to go back and check. Now we've got the one for Meter, so I can add that to Meter's bag. Thank you so much. It's so nice of you to do that for all of the Millie Cat. That's great. And I'm glad to see that Zeta the Beta is still uh, featuring in your letters, so nothing ill has befallen the fish yet. That's good. That's good news. Okay. So i got to shuffle this stuff around one more time. And then got two more boxes, everybody. Getting right towards the end here. Okay. Everybody seems to be enjoying the Yeah, that's cool that you can just post them so quickly like that. That's really neat. That's very clear. That's great. Yes, you guys, you get it. Whoever sent this. Dear Mr. A, Dr. DJ, and all the fuzzies at Kitten Academy. We've been watching Kitten Academy for two years now since the tail end, get it, of the English desserts and spice kittens. And have loved every minute and figured it was about time to contribute. You should have already received something from us drop shipped last week from Amazon, and here's the rest, hopefully all useful. Of course, we had to throw in some Churu and toys, too. You do such amazing work, you're 
always saying thank you. Well, thank you for being you. You are Stacia and Eddie, whose uh, Stacia is Glitter Ninja on Discord. I remember getting the stuff from you last week, Stacia. I did not realize last week, though, that you are Glitter Ninja on Discord. I love that name, Glitter Ninja. Spelled just the way it sounds, Glitter Ninja. Stacia, thank you so much. Glitter Ninja is that's a great name. I think DJ would like that. Okay. Oh, wow. You really packed a lot of stuff in this box, too. Let's see. What is going on here? This looks like an assortment of cat toys. Interesting little cat toys. We have uh, some snails. Those are very cute snails. Here we have some fish tacos with, uh, like, the fish are, like, recognizably fish in these fish tacos. I don't think that's how it works, um, but that's okay. Kong Kikaroo with a little bear on it. An Eek Mouse. And a Cosmic Catnip Carrot. That's cool. Okay. Oh, and uh, pizza. I see. Pizza Slice Cat Toys. Uh, I like this too. It's pepperoni and black olive. That is legitimately my favorite pizza. So how about that? Somebody knows. <laughs> All right. You sent us more baby blankets. I see that this is the theme for today's mailbag. Cozy, soft, multi-purpose. This one has foxes on it. That's really cute. These are Gerber four flannel blankets for babies. And then we have four more. This one has little bears on it. And then we have four more. This one has little pink bunny rabbits on it. But wait, <laughs> because then we have four more. This one has little clouds. Wow, we've got a lot of blankets for these little babies. Yeah, Laundry Academy. <laughs> That's exactly right. Here we have Churu, the Churu variety pack, plus a bonus Churu chicken with crab flavor. And, oh my goodness, and more blankets even. Here we have Cloud Island flannel blankets. This one has a nautical theme with whales and little anchors. And one more. This one, uh, oh, it's hot air balloons and clouds. Very cool. Wow. Wow. That is uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. That is, a, that is a lot of blanket sets. That is quite a few right there. Thank you so much. We are definitely in the blankets now. I don't think we're ever going to need any more little kitten blankets. Um, or maybe we will. Who knows? We can definitely go through an awful lot of these. Um, thank you so much, Glitter Ninja. That is a great name. Um, for the little cat toys and the, all the blankets. And obviously you can never have too much Churu. All right, I'm just going to put these back in here for now and we'll sort this stuff out later. Glitter Ninja, thank you again, Stacia and company. Okay, one more box. Let's see. This is a drop shipment from Amazon and is also especially heavy. I don't know what that means. Let's find out. Hi, Max. Means lots of Yes, well, thank you for that. Yes, okay. Sorry. <laughs> Settled. <laughs> Here we have some KMR2, which is the kitten weaning formula. I don't, I don't see a note yet, by the way, so we're just going to dig right in. Uh, here we have a whole bunch of hair ties. Uh, it looks like 108 hair ties. That is a lot of hair ties. Those make excellent cat toys. I'm sure that's what that's for. I'm pretty sure that's what it's for. They probably did not send it for my hair. I'm guessing. Here we have, what is this? Oh, I think this is KMR. It is, it's, it's four, it's a four pack of K, I'm not gonna open the box. It's a four pack of the liquid KMR and there's two of those. 
So that's awesome. Thank you so much. Uh, as always, I mean, we're probably going to need an awful lot of KMR to fill up that artificial mom with artificial milk um, and grow some little artificial kittens. <laughs> um, yes, the converse. <laughs> I love it. The converse really works, too. Yeah. yeah, I get it. I see what you did there. Uh, so we've got eight cans of the KMR. We've got a, a, a jar of the KMR2. And we've got a ton of little uh, hair bands for cat toys. I don't know who sent this because there's no note. So if you feel like taking credit, please let us know on chat or by email. Uh, either way, we really appreciate it. We're going to be going through a ton of this, I'm sure of it. So thank you to everybody that has sent all of this wonderful stuff. Uh, it's fantastic. You guys are all so thoughtful. Uh, I, just, I don't even know what to say. I, I really appreciate it. And uh, it's, this is great. This is, this is awesome. Thank you guys all so much. Um, I am going to go straight to trying to get all this stuff put away, though, so that we, now we can move on and do uh, maybe lunch and definitely Stan's adoption. So uh, thank you all again one more time. I'm going to leave the, the archive rolling for a little while while I get this stuff out of here, and then uh, I'll let you know when I'm going to shut it off. So uh, thanks again. All right. Got my boat. All right. That was an epic mailbag. Stuff. I always knew you had to do a lot of talking. That's a lot of talking. <laughs> it is a lot of talking. Yeah, I'm not. I, you know, I've been doing it now the mailbag for long enough that I'm starting to get used to it. But sure. It's it is. It's kind well, of a struggle. I've worked retail in some form or another for years and years and years and years and years. And during the holidays, that's a lot of talking too. Like yeah, the point where you lose your voice after about two weeks. Yeah, yeah, and it's probably and loud too, right? And like yeah, you can, yeah, so you it reminds me over. of the, those years. Yeah. I manage now, so I don't have to be on the floor as much, but. That's good, yeah. Yeah. It reminds me. Oh, that would be. Oh, did you get a scratch? Yeah, well, they have little needle plugs. They do, yeah. yeah. Little tiny needle plugs. Let's go. Oh, thank you. Okay, you can set it out on the counter or something for now. I'll figure it out. Oh, this is heavy. <laughs> Careful. I'm not one to sit around and watch other people work. Oh, well, that's nice of you guys. <laughs> Bridgie. Hi, Bridgie. Except when there's kittens, in which case I have to pet a kitten. I, my natural predilection would have been to just sit around and do nothing. Yes, <laughs> of course. Obviously, oh, the best I know exactly where to put this one. Oh, this is so beautiful. That's it. Yeah. Wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow.
Well, we got this room cleaned out in record time thanks to some help. So I'm just going to set some stuff out here and then we'll end the archive. Thanks again to everybody that sent stuff. You guys are all fantastic. Um, just, just wonderful people all around. So if you're watching on the archive, um, it's over. If you are watching this live, then uh, there's uh, Either way, thanks for joining us, and uh, we hope you enjoyed.